Mm-hmm. Yeah. What drives you in particular to pursue teaching photography versus like, I don't know, something else like print sales, for example. Right. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, well, and you know, to me, I, I've often said that, you know, for whatever reason, I'm just kind of naturally inclined to be a teacher. And so, you know, people always ask if, if you stop doing this for some reason, what would you do next? And I say, I have no idea. Like if I couldn't do what I'm doing now, I have no idea what that other thing might be, but I think I'd be teaching something. I would find something else that I either have knowledge about or can learn about and I, I want to teach because I just, I love that process. I love figuring stuff out in the first place and then sharing that with others. I, I, for whatever reason, that just lights my fire, you know? So I, I always, I mean, I, have, I remember as, you know, a, a teenager writing software, first learning some programming languages and not being able to figure out how to get this particular program to do what I wanted it to do. And it's trial and error, right? You change the code, you rerun the code, it fails, so you go back and you, you re- proofread it again and figure it all out. And when it would finally work, I, I remember I was about 16 years old and I had this job and I, I would stay late so I could use their computers and I'm writing software. And when it finally worked, I'm alone in the office late at night. I just like am jumping up, throwing my arms up in the air, jumping up around the office like so excited. And you know, then the the next best thing beyond that is then helping other people essentially have that same experience. You know, people get frustrated not being able to figure out some some technological gadget, some piece of software, whatever it might be. And so to me, one of the best compliments I can ever get is when a photographer says, thank you so much. I've, I've been struggling with that issue and you, you made the light bulb go on, you know, whether it was just by knowing the, what was involved in making something happen or the way that I was able to explain it. And so that to me is just the best is for someone to essentially have gotten rid of a frustration thanks to, you know, my efforts in, in terms of teaching them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people do say it's like early on, it's like, I wish I had this sort of thing. And that's why you, you know, these courses and everything and teaching exists too. Right. Um, and yeah, that's, it's great to have that aha moment too exactly. uh, with your students. Exactly. Mm. Mm-hmm. 